hi guys let's get started with meteor uh, this is the meteor official set here you can find uh, some screencasts and uh, very good documentation let's copy this command and paste it in my terminal to install meteor as meteor is not officially supported for windows i am working with the virtual machines online in coding.com Yeah, meter is successfully installed in my virtual machine. Let's create an application with meter. Just to create an application, enter command meter create and application name. I give my application as hello. And I'm changing to my application directory. And let's run this application. The command to run the application is Meteor. If you are on local mission, then you need to go to localhost column 3000 localhost column 3000. As I'm on a virtual mission, I need to go to the CC 513.kd.io column 3000. Uh, yeah my application has started and as you can see when uh, this is the default code that meter gives you when you create a new application let me explain the code let me raise my folder by default meter creates three folder three files for you one is CS, one css file one html file and one javascript file uh, yeah. uh, this is a html file Meteor uses templating concept for live updating your data. As you can see in body, you are calling this template and this template is rendered here. As you can in this template, we create a button and then we are displaying some message with the handlebar helper variable. This is a handlebar helper variable when you give it in curly braces. That means we want to display some dynamic data here how we are going to display this dynamic data here we need let's go to hello.js let's go to our javascript file let me explain this code if muter dot is client that means this code will run on client client side only all this code and and this code if muter dot is server is is runs on only server side you can also divide it uh, you can also run the code in client side, server side by creating two folders called client and server otherwise you can give these conditions if meter is client uh, and if meter is server this this code runs on client side this code runs on server side otherwise you can also create um, client folder and a server folder uh, all the code which is in client folder is it will be run on client side and all the code which is in server folder will be run on server side okay first of all we are setting the session variable counter to zero <coughs> and we are we are creating some helpers for the template called hello for this hello template we are creating some helpers this this counter variable is a helper up helper here we are writing some function for that helper we are returning the session dot get counter value counter value that means what are the value in counter we are returning that and here to here we we are writing some events for the template template dot hello dot events in this folder in this block we are writing events of that particular template here when we click on button click on button as this is a button in this template when you in this template when you click on button this function will execute 
what is this function uh, in this function we have session dot set counter variable we are setting the counter variable to session dot get counter plus one we are getting the uh, counter variable and we are incrementing it by one whenever this value changes i mean whenever we click a button we are setting the session variable whenever this session variable changes this code also uh, this code also will run and the data will be here will be updated this is how meteor works okay as you can see here whenever we click an item the session variable is set to previous value plus one and this value will be increased and i'll show you another command few commands let me stop this Mutor has some built-in packages and some community package, third-party packages. To add packages to your application, type Mutor add. There is an application called, there is a package called Accounts Facebook. Sorry, type of mistake. Accounts Facebook, which will create, which will add the account, Facebook account setup to, which will add login service for Facebook account. Let me show you that. You need to add another. I will add another two packages. Sir. I will explain about these packages later. Accounts base. and accounts ui accounts ui package will add i mean will give you a template called login buttons which will add some drop down type of thing to your your application let me add the template here here login buttons here I'm calling login buttons. When I add meter meter add accounts UI package, accounts UI package, this login buttons uh, template will will come with that along with that package. What does that package do is, I mean it searches for the av available accounts. Here we added accounts Facebook package and uh, it will give you a drop down let me run and show you this uh, application is starting and the application started Here, as you can see, it added um, login for Facebook to my application. Here, as you all know, we need to give app ID and secret. Then save configuration after. After saving configuration, it will give Facebook and it will give two boxes for ID password. And after that, your browsers can log in with Facebook. Let me add another package. Change into my directory and add a package with your real accounts password. Sorry, let me change into my meter application and then I am adding a package called accounts password which will help your browser to create a new id password in this in your application okay. you can see that the application is automatically started and here you can see drop down 
you can your rogers can log in with either facebook or you can create an account this option comes when you add a package called accounts facebook this uh, email id password login comes if you add a package accounts password package let me create an account email xyz.gmail.com password is this is create account password must be yeah yeah it automatically log, log, logins to my account i can change my password these are uh, the sole interface comes when you add a package accounts ui you can change password uh, you can sign out and uh, then you can this whole ui this drop down ui comes when you add package accounts ui okay and to remove packages from your meteor application just type meteor remove accounts facebook yeah remove top level dependence on accounts facebook if you want to see what are the package installed in our in our application just type meteor list it will it will list all the packages that is installed in your application here you can see account base ui password we added all these packages too by default meter comes along with auto publish and insecure packages what what this packages does is i mean they they automatically sends all the records in your servers to each and every client so each and every client can i mean each and every client can uh, modify your your database records so we don't want like that whenever you create a new new app first step you need to do is remove these packages meteor rem remove auto publish in secure you can delete multiple packages like this by separating its space yeah removed dependency auto publish in secure okay and other uh, commands you can you can deploy your projects to meteor servers by using a sim single command meteor deploy and my app name is xxx513.meteor.com then my application will be deployed to xxx513.meteor.com I'm giving my my ID here. as you can see my my application is deploying to xxx513.meter.com it will take some time as you can see my application is serving at xxx513.meter.com let me check that xxx513.meter dot com yeah this is my application as you can see login options yeah that's all thank you hit like and subscribe for more videos thanks for watching